Jamie Seekson hosts A Question of Pop. to a question of pop. I might not be quite as glamorous as Sue Barker, and to be honest, I'm pretty rubbish at tennis, but I do know a thing or two about pop music. The question is, though, how much do you know? And more importantly, how much do our two teams know? Our first captain in tonight's House of Fun is himself no stranger to the hit parade. Let's hope he's not an embarrassment going one step beyond. Will you please welcome the <laughs> prodigal son of Scar, it's Suggs. <laughs> Our next team captain this evening dominated the 80s. He smashed through the barricades to chart up hit after hit. He's muscle-bound, it gets worse, highly strung, but he's worth his weight in gold. Well, that's it, I'm going home after that. <laughs> to cut a long story short, will you please welcome Mr Tony Hadley. Tonight, Suggs is joined by two hugely successful artists, the first of which is undoubtedly the British Princess of Pop. In 1998, she became the first British female to go straight in at number one with her debut single, Because We Want To. Since then, she scored a succession of top three hits. Her debut album has sold well over half a million copies. It couldn't be anyone else but Billy. Billy wasn't even born by the time our next guest had clocked up a staggering 26 hits in the UK. Not surprisingly, he's one of the most successful recording artists of all time. Responsible for number one hits in each of the last four decades, they are the ultimate musical family. With nine gold and three platinum albums, it's small wonder they've picked up a staggering seven Grammy Awards. In 1996, they found their rightful place in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. From the Bee Gees, will you please welcome Robin Gibb. Impressive super group there under the guidance of Suggs. Tony's got no need to worry though, his lineup is equally talented on lead vocals, the undisputed queen of RB. There wasn't a DJ in the land that could resist this lady's flavour of the old school. Since then, she has scored hits with Sister Sister and made it back, rounding off last year with two MOBA awards for Best Album and Best RB Act. Still only 26, the future is looking very promising indeed. It's the prodigal sister. Will you please welcome Beverly Knight? As Beverly became a legend in the clubs, our next guest was busy with a very different kind of club. Beginning with a 13-part TV series, followed by a debut single straight in at number one, this bubbly bunch of talented teenagers are a pure pop phenomenon. Genuine enthusiasm for good music mean they've passed the first stage of their pop schooling with flying colours. OK, everybody, next lesson. You all know what to do. You've all seen Friends. Group hug! From the hugely popular S Club 7, will you please welcome Paul Catamol. <laughs> well, with pedigrees in top like those, this first round could be no problem whatsoever. OK, behind each number is a face from the world of music. For two points, all you have to do is tell me who it is. Billy, pick a number, please. Uh, ooh, nine. Number nine. <laughs> you recognise that face? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know, yeah. Robbie Williams? Is the right answer. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. How did you know? I know, yes. I didn't know. I was just thinking. God. <laughs> Close personal friend. Okay, yeah. Beverly, pick a number, please. Number three, please. Uh, it looks a bit because he's got the fine gauge that I got a silly out on the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go Good helmet. <laughs> Jay, say Tay, do you require? It's wrong, I'm afraid. No. We will pass it over what? to the other team. Suggs, oh, any idea? Well, that's it. Uh, <laughs> it's an outside shot. Goldie. It is, in fact, uh, Stephen Gately from Boyzone. 
Oh. No, Robin, seven. <laughs> Number seven. Who do you think oh, this I is? I know who that is. Um, Adam Rickett. Robin, do you know who Adam Rickett is? <laughs> <laughs> it is, of course, not Adam Rickett. Oh. We'll pass it over to Tony's well, team. Tony, have you got any idea? <laughs> no. What do you reckon? Oh, oh, it's the air, isn't it? Yeah. All right, go Jarvis. It's the wrong answer. It is, in fact, the groover from Vancouver, Mr. Brian Adams. Uh, no. Oh. Paul, pick a number, please. Um, I'll go for number 12, please. 12. Yeah, 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 that's no, I mean. that's what I'd say. And the fingers as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jerry Halliwell, possibly. Do you think Jerry would wear a bag like that? What? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if blue's a colour. It's not. It's not Jerry Halliwell. It's a Suggs. Any idea who that could be? What do those hands look like? Uh, <laughs> she hasn't made any records. No, 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 it can't be. Oh, right. sorry. Not <laughs> um, that we know of, anyway. Yeah. Madonna? Um, you look like fit, fit hands. hands. Very fit hands, Madonna. <laughs> we'll go with Madonna then, yeah. Is the right answer. Hooray! Suggs, our captains now. Suggs, choose a number for us, please. Five. <laughs> not much to do it in the 70s, is it? No, I know it isn't. All right, um... Billy? Billy's not going to know someone who dresses like that. So no, <coughs> no. Do you recognise Robbie Williams' bum, though? <laughs> 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 uh, getting it out. Uh, Roger Daltrey. It's not Roger Daltrey, no. I'll uh, pass it over to Tony Snyder. Any well, idea? Well, we've been checking that bum out, and it looks like Jason Donovan's car. Rather worryingly, uh, Tony did spot Jason <laughs> Donovan's <laughs> car. <laughs> 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 Tony, pick a number, please. Uh, number two, please. Number two. Oh. Oh. Uh, listen, I'll, I'll go Jarvis Cocker again. I don't know why, but I will. I can't <laughs> think of anybody else. <laughs> I don't think that Jarvis is going to be. <laughs> I, 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 I think that he's got to be in one of them, hasn't he? You know, Tony, he goes out to enough parties. Do you know he? any other pop stars, Tony? <laughs> I'm going to tell you, it isn't. Suggs, do you have an idea who that might be under no. the No. Well, I'll take a chance that it's a younger, slimmer Sean Ryder. Uh, it's not, I'm afraid. Oh. It is, in fact, Mick Hucknall. Uh, no! Oh, no way! <laughs> <laughs> After the first instalment of our pop parade, the scores are... Tony has two, but in the lead, Suggs has four. Time for some pop action now. Billy, it's you first. I'd like you to watch these moments in music and for a point each, tell me what's the year and who's talking R&B. The pop group, take that, have confirmed they're to split up. We took it to a level well beyond any of our expectations. Some strong female icon. You're talking the last domestic British R&B number one was 89. So, I'm sure you all got bushing. So, Billy, for a point each, we need the year and we need the man talking R&B. Um, that was Mark Morrison, uh, and I reckon that was. Hold on. I think it was earlier than that, because... 83? Robbie put out Freedom 94, didn't he, after they split it up? I think it was 95. I think that's better than that. Did they? Yeah. Oh, well. oh did they? <laughs> well, I'm completely wrong then. What, what did you I say originally? I reckon 96. OK. 96 is it. So, Mark Morrison and 1996 yeah. is right on both counts. Yeah! Well OK, Beverly, you're next up, but uh, once again, it is a team question. Can you name the year and tell me who is the dancing joker in the pack? Oh, oh, oh come on in. You the best oh, that was a good start, wasn't it? Every stock aching Waterman record you ever bought, whether it be Carly Minogue, Jason Donovan, Big Fun, they all started life in this hit factory. 
Well, Charlene's going out with Scott. I'm not going out with Jason, however.